clapping from clapping they'll start dancing he's just one time from that one time that that's all i need no i'm ashamed i will change my password because me too i deserve privacy are you mad my mother hasn't slapped me before so you're not going to slap me what is even the reason why are you slapping me Welcome back to another video if this is your first time here thank you so much for clicking on this video to watch and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for returning and watching this video today's video is called Tuesday scenarios and it's basically my sister is behind the camera so she'll be asking me questions that like she's giving me like different like situations and like asking me what I would do if I were in those situations. So that's what this video is going to be about without wasting your time or my time or anybody's time. Let's get this show rolling. Let's go, first question. Okay. What would you do if you were engaged and your husband tells you he doesn't want a wedding? Um, we have to come to an agreement. That's what it has to be. We have to meet in the middle because you don't want a wedding i want a wedding so let's say i wanted like 300 people and maybe you don't want any wedding at all it's okay we can make it like 50 people we can like make the wedding small but in a place like nigeria that's not even possible but anyways all i have to say is that we have to come to an agreement because there's no way imagine i don't understand imagine me not having a wedding what will you do if your mother in law slapped you I would do, my mom all I can say my mother hasn't slapped me before so you're not going to slap me what is even the reason why are you slapping me let's say your husband had two sisters okay yeah, and you are always um they're always like they're always like um, invading your privacy, always trying to get involved in what is going on in your house, like always trying to have a say in things happening in your house. What um, do you do? I'm going to check them. I'm going to call not even like it's not going to be a fighting thing, but obviously like if I notice it and stuff like that, like I'm going to, you know, ask to meet up and going to tell them how I'm feeling and how like they really shouldn't be like invading and coming into like matters that have to do with like you they, they're coming to matters that have to do with my marriage right yeah like they shouldn't really be doing that so i'm going to tell them how i feel i'm going to communicate you know let them know that this is not right i don't feel comfortable with all that's going on and it will be nice if they can understand and back off but if they don't i'm going to check them i will give it to them and i don't give it i don't give it a damn I'm already his wife. If I cannot respectfully call a meeting and tell you how I feel and you acknowledge that I'm back off, then like sorry, but nice me is gone. Like I'm not going to be nice. The next time I have to warn you, it's not going to be nice. And I'm not even going to get my husband involved. I will sort it out for myself. Like legit. Maybe the first time when I try to like um you know have a conversation and you know just say how I feel nicely, politely and all of that maybe the first time i'm going to like you know talk to my husband about it because it will be somehow because those are his sisters maybe i'll talk to him about it but the second time i'm not even going to get him involved i best believe that i'm sorting that thing out by myself like i will check them i will check check you let's say let's say um you tell your husband that you're going for your friend's dinner like okay. birthday dinner okay and then your husband tells you, oh, okay, he's working late, he's going to be late, okay. like coming home, he's going to come back home late. Okay. You're at your friend's um, dinner party and then after you guys are eating, mm -hmm. and people decide to go to the club. Okay. And you go to the club and find your husband there. Oh! <laughs> like, is this actually happening? What will I do? Okay, let me not, let me not front, because I'm not, I'm not crazy. I'm actually not crazy. but is it the work you are meant to be doing like you are working late if different if you told me you are going to the club with the boys or something like that which is totally fine because why am i stopping you from going to the club with your guys and stuff like that 
but for you something that you're going to be working late and then i see you at the club i show up and i see you at the club is that the work like is the work in the club and like is that where you're meant to be working this is the problem this is the this is the thing that leads to um, um, issues because if you were going to go to the club after why wouldn't you just tell me oh you're going to go to the club with your guys after or if maybe you happen to like finish work early and then maybe you wanted to go to the club or your guy said oh let's just go to the club this is something that maybe you will call me and tell me oh like oh like i'm done working and you know i'm going to the club with my guys and then it's finished like it's done is a done deal like i already know yes you say you're going to the club with your guys that's fine but like that's the problem with guys i feel like even when I'm watching like Nigerian movies, sometimes me, I'm, my head, I'm always, I'm always shouting because why do they always do the things, do these things? Even the tiniest detail that they feel like maybe mm, it's not that deep, like not cause issues. Those are the things that will actually cause issues. So why don't you just say, just tell, like even though you don't feel like it's that big of a deal, like I can do it. Like, don't you think that, okay, for example, now if you had told me that, okay, you're going to the club with your guys, you're done from work early, it wouldn't be such a big problem because at least you told me. It wouldn't be a problem at, at all, self, because you told me. But if you're in a situation where you told me you're going to be working late and then you, I, I ended up coming to the club and I saw you there, all hell will let loose and it will really lead to like more issues because then, yeah, i will not be thinking like what else do you like to me about or even if you genuinely literally just came to the club because your friends asked you and they begged you to come i will not even believe it because i'll just feel like you lied to me so husband, you've been married for let's say three years mm -hmm. and then he tells you that he doesn't want you to work anymore he wants you to be a housewife i'm not going to stop working what's what's the reason no you have to give me a reason because okay out of nowhere i'll be i i was working before i met you before we got married i was working the three years in the three years of our marriage i've been a working lady i've been working and then you wake up one day and you're like you don't want me to work anymore you have to give me a concrete reason like i'm not just going to stop my job because you asked me to sorry what is your reason Sorry, but no. What will you do if you found your boyfriend having sex with your friend and he tells you to get out? Ask me to get out. Do you know a uh, funny thing? The funny thing is that I'm not a crazy person. So I might, if I saw that, I'll probably just carry my things and leave the room for them and just go where I'm going to. It's the fact that you have not told me to get out that would not even pain me because I will mess you up. Like, in fact, I will mess you up. Like, it's even the guy, not even, I'll let the beat run, but I will mess you up. Like, for the fact that you told me to get out. What would you do if you got pregnant for your boyfriend and he denies the pregnancy? So, two things. If you deny the child, I will ruin you. But if you're just like not ready, but you're not denied the child, best believe in the future when you're ready, you're not coming back. What will you do if your husband of two years tells you he wants to marry a second wife? I'm actually going to leave the marriage. That's what's going to be. I'm going to leave the marriage because I know it's easier said than done, but as for now, I'm saying, what if he's like the best husband in the world? Like, I don't care. Takes care of you. If I think he's, he just if I think, I don't care. I don't understand. We did not discuss a second wife before we got into the marriage so i'm not going to you're not going to have a second wife and if you insist that you're going to have a second wife it's easier than that done i repeat but i am going to leave because I, that wasn't our agreement like if i believe you are the best husband in the world then i should be enough for you as well as the best wife in the world um what would you do if you found out your long-term fiance was your cousin long and short of the story is that the engagement will end what will you do if your boyfriend slaps you from clapping from clapping they'll start dancing he, he slapped me once he's just one time from that one time that that's all i need there's no amount of sorry it was reflex it was in the spam of the moment it was in the speak of the moment it was just a mistake it was the devil the next one you're going to punch me no i'm not saying your husband asked you for like the password of your phone mm -hmm. and you give him mm -hmm. but then you ask him for his own and he says oh no that 
like you don't have to have the password on his phone for privacy he has to have his own privacy but he's asking you for the password of your phone what will you do i would change my own password she better already given it to him <laughs> i would <laughs> i would change my password because me too i deserve privacy are you mad what if you found out your boyfriend of two years was married what will you do a whole two years <laughs> no i'm ashamed so I'm actually going to hide my face. I'll be so upset myself. People don't understand. The whole two years, my anger will be that I did not know. I will find his wife and I will tell her everything that has been going on. It's okay. You guys, this video has finally come to an end. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you love this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, leave a comment down below and let me know what you'd also do. Like, what will you do if you found yourself in those situations? So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and see you in my next video. You want me. I need you. You need me.